Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like to get a super thanks, you could find that in the thanks part of the section. If you would like to get a membership to help support this channel, you could find that in the join section of the page. All right, Aries. I scurried the crystal for you today, and the image I saw was a boy. It uh, looked like a young, a young boy, and he was standing on a white cloud, and he was wearing a white toga, and he had brown hair, but his haircut was kind of like bowl-shaped. And he was playing a harp, and in the distance, I could see golden gates, and, you know, it looked like heaven. So it was a very beautiful image, and I was loading another video, and while it was loading on the tablet, I always keep the screen dark, you know, to save on the battery. And it lit up on its own right when I saw that image in the crystal. So I take that as a sign that your angels are with you. And this could possibly be your angel or it could possibly be one of your relatives that has crossed on and is in angelic form now. All right. Let's get into your reading. Next card out is main well, first card out is main female. So I feel like there's a female in your life that's very significant right now. This could be an ex. This could be a relative. This could be a friend. It'll apply differently to everyone. Next card out is tree affairs with your family. So this possibly could be a relative, this main female. Next card was unicorn. Trust, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So trust your intuition in regards to this family member. You know, trust your first instinct because that is God communicating to you about this family member. And the next card was feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So I feel like this individual is very, un, you know, wishy-washy. You can't rely on this individual. This could be a sister. This could be uh, a cousin. You know, just take it how it resonates. But it's a family member that is a um, that is a female. So you can't rely on this individual. Perhaps you have asked this person for help or try to get them to do something for you. And they're just never there for you when you need them. And that main female had been paired up here next to child. So there's something in regards to a child with this individual. Um, perhaps you end up taking care of this person's child, or perhaps you ask this family member to help watch your child and they're just never there for you when you need them. So take it how it resonates. Next card out was mountain, major challenges to overcome. So I feel like there's lots of obstacles that you have. Uh, next card out was forest, muddled, unclear thinking. So you have lots of stress. Um, perhaps you're a single parent and you need someone to help you with your child. And, you know, this relative is just never there for you. Next card out is hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So you need to take a vacation. Um, as I said, in I believe in Sagittarius's reading, is a vacation doesn't have to be leaving the state or going, you know, out of country. This is just you know, taking time for yourself so that you can recuperate. Next card out is cat, a two-faced friend. So with this two-faced friend being here, this is someone that, you know, smiles in your face and then talks bad about you behind your back. So I feel like this main female, um, perhaps, you know, you consider them a friend at one time and you trusted them, but they always are gossiping about you. Next card out is broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So you're not going to be able to mend a bridge with this individual because they're just stuck in their toxic ways. Next card out is scales. Keep your life in balance. So this is telling you to keep your life in balance. Um, you know, don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed here. Next card out is September. So that could be significant to you. Perhaps this person's born in September. Perhaps the child is born in September. It'll apply differently to everyone. Next card out is hat. You'll be playing a different role. So perhaps in September you are, or this already has taken place, where you're playing a different role. Perhaps you are taking care of someone else's child and perhaps you've become a parent when, you know, that wasn't your position before. Next card out is hills, obstacles to overcome. So you're doing all this, you know, this challenges, you know, you're over, you're going to be overcoming your obstacles, but you know, right now it's just like stressful and overwhelming. Next card out is November. So take that how it resonates. Perhaps, you know, this is someone's birthday. Of who this applies to. Next card out was March. So March is going to be significant to you. And that was clarified by Bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. So you're going to overcome these problems. All these obstacles you will overcome. 
you know, it might be difficult right now, but you are going to overcome this regardless if you have these people's help or not, or this person's help, because God, you know, has your back. He's going to help you overcome your difficulties. Next card off for you was higher self, horse tail. So this card is letting you know you're reaching, you know, a celestial realm. You are reaching heavenly realms here. You are your higher self. So you are going to be surpassing all these negative energies. You're going to be sitting on your throne and you're going to be connected to the divine where all this, you know, toxicness of people is not going to even affect you. Um, the medicinal benefit of the horse tail is that it can help with your urinary tract. And one of the things about the horsetail is if you break it down on a compound level, that it can um, be used like crystals. It has the same makeup as crystals. So, you know, beautiful energy there. Uh, the next card out for you is Elder. So with the Elder being here, this is letting you know to think about the people that have given you advice in your in your time. You know, people that have given you good advice growing up and you know rely on that you know and of course rely on God because he's going to help you get through this difficult situation and you know just know that if this person doesn't want to be there for you and help you know that God always has your back in every situation all right if this resonates with you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe